We're going to take a look at the ulna and radius, but first I want to show it to you with the elbow joint, so I have added in the humerus. At the distal end of the humerus, you see my bow tie structure, which is the trochlea and capitulum, and how that connects to the radius and ulna. So now I'm going to take away my humerus. Here we have our two bones. The lateral bone is the radius, the medial being the ulna. Let's start with the radius. I'm looking at it in anatomical position right now, and this would be a right radius, A to P view. The first structure at the proximal end is the head. And I always remember the head of the radius because it actually looks like a radial tire, which is another way that you can identify this bone if you see it singly. We have the neck of the radius, and then we also have the radial tuberosity, which is an articulation point with the ulna. At the distal end of the radius, we have the styloid process of the radius and the ulnar notch. On my ulna, I also have a styloid process. This is the radial notch of the ulna. And all the way back up to the proximal end, I have the trochlear notch, which is this U-shaped notch, trochlear notch. The edge of the trochlear notch, we have the coronoid process. This is the olecranon process, and olecranon means posterior elbow.